The Ceresto flea collar is a popular way to prevent fleas and ticks. Over 30 million have been sold. But could the collar cause serious health problems for your pet or even death? A News 12 senior investigative reporter Walt Kane has this cane in your corner investigation. He had this massive seizure right in front of me. Rhonda Bomwell is still haunted by the death of her dog, Pierre. His eyes like just rolled back and his tongue came out of his mouth and he let out this horrible scream. Pierre died just 12 hours after Rhonda put a Soresto flea collar around his neck at the suggestion of her vet. It's not an injection and it's not a pill and it's a collar and my thinking was if anything ever goes wrong, you can just take it off them. She blames the collar for his death and she's not alone. The EPA has gotten 98,000 complaints about Soresto collars since 2012. Nearly 2,500 involve pets that died, but the collars have never been recalled. Some pet owners have filed class action lawsuits saying the current and former manufacturers failed to warn them of serious adverse health consequences. We absolutely need EPA to start looking into these products. And our investigation finds some of the EPA's own scientists are not happy with the way the agency handled complaints. In internal emails, one says, I hope someone can blow the lid off this travesty. And an administrator says he and another employee were pulled aside by a manager to be told, off the record, not to mention Soresto in emails. People have just been screaming at the top of their lungs, basically, trying to get management to take notice of this product, and nothing's worked. The Center for Biological Diversity sued the EPA to get those emails. People assume that if a product is on store shelves, that somewhere, someone has made sure that this is safe. And right now, that doesn't appear to be the case. The maker of Soresto collars, Alanco Health, says it is critically important to understand that reports do not indicate cause, adding more than 93% of incident reports are minor or moderate. Alanco insists the number of pets that died due to its collars isn't 2,500, but 12. Rhonda Bomwell doesn't buy that and says something should be done. Maybe they need to reformulate it or do something or just pull the whole product off the market so we don't lose all these dogs. In your corner, Walt Kane, News 12. Now, the EPA says it has started investigating whether Soresto flea collars should be removed from the market altogether. Do you have a story that needs to be investigated? Get Kane in your corner by calling 732-738-Kane, or you can email kaneinyourcorner at news12.com.